Saturday is the opening day for resident waterfowl hunters in North Dakota. So we wanted to bring in, tell us a little bit about the numbers and what hunters can expect when they head out. Yeah, and actually it should be pretty good. Uh, ac across the area, uh, when you look at what we had for a, kind of a late spring, but we did get some timely rain. So there was a little bit of concern, uh, especially on the heels of the drought of 2017, that maybe the production wouldn't quite be there, but it was. We, we saw a nice little bump in production and duck numbers this year. We also, even our wetland conditions have improved. So when you combine a couple of those variables with a little stronger production, a uh, little a little more water out across the landscape, across the prairie pothole region. What that should do is, is set up for, I guess, if I had to put it in a word, I'd say probably good. I'm not going to go out and say excellent or spectacular or anything like that, but it should be a pretty good waterfall opener, Lisa. And how about just the weather that we're seeing right now? It's starting to switch into more fall-like. You know, and I know some people wish it would stay a little bit warmer, but this is definitely better weather conditions for duck hunters. We don't need the 80 degrees and 90 degrees. A uh, little bit of cooler weather, maybe a little bit of a precipitation that kind of mixes in throughout the week. Definitely is more conducive for, for duck hunters and, and goose hunters out there. So I, I, I think, you know, looking towards the weekend, if, if you're a hunter in North Dakota, I know the Minnesota uh, waterfall opener is coming up this weekend as well. There's no reason not to go. Um, the, the weather should be a little better for hunting. The duck numbers should be pretty good. Uh, it, it, it's definitely pointed in the right direction, Lisa. What kind of numbers do we see for hunters going out? Right. The brood index is up 12% from last year. Again, nothing that you're going to see a real dramatic change. The water index up a little over 10%. Uh, one thing I should remind you is that for non-residents, if you're a Minnesota hunter wanting to come to North Dakota, that'll be next weekend. And we, we do have a, a two-pin tail limit this year. So a couple of, couple of notes uh, heading towards the weekend, Lisa. Okay, Doug Lear, thanks for coming in and kind of updating us for the, uh, well, this is definitely now feeling more like fall. It is definitely hunting season. It is here, Lisa. It is here. Thank you, Doug. You're welcome.